Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Deluxe Class Skylinks. As you can see, his alternate modes, of course, a weird look uh, of cool looking dragon. He's a repaint and, a, and um, he, he's a complete repaint and a, uh, of Skystalker. And overall, he's pretty cool. Now, yes, he was seen in Predacons Rising, the um, in the series finale, along with Dark Steel. Uh, I am going to be reviewing Dark Steel. He's obviously a repaint of Grim Ring and uh, Grim Wing, sorry, and. And both those figures look pretty cool. Um, yes, um, this doesn't really look that accurate to his appearance in Predacons Rising. It was more of a darkish... I couldn't really... There weren't really any good shots of him in robot mode and a couple in beast mode. Yes, we saw, but anyways, it's... What can you do? I imagine, the, I imagine Takara is going to probably get a more, uh, uh, you know, series finale accurate kind of paint scheme. For this figure, anyways, um, articulation is exactly the same as Sky Soccer. The tail can go up and down. The legs are posable on each of their joints, um, like so. Um, like here, and on the back legs, front legs, head is posable. Mouth can open and close, and talk to you, and all that sort of stuff. And the wings, uh, they can also, you know, pose, and they can. They'll also rotate forward. And yes, they still have that fiery. Uh, the, they fire the discs. Like so, I'll show you that again on the other one here. So yeah, um, pretty, pretty cool. I mean, didn't really see a whole lot of these. You know, we didn't, we saw, you know, they, uh, yeah, pretty much, we didn't, I don't know if he, actually, we didn't, never saw him fire any of these, you know, wing, you know, weapons in the show or, or in the series finale or whatever. So yes, uh, primary colors, sorry, mostly, uh, are... White, dark blue, does have some gold for the missiles, burgundy red, white, and pinkish red, and overall, pretty interesting color scheme. Uh, and he does have a Predacon logo right on the shoulder there, on that uh, right shoulder, I believe. Yeah, the right shoulder. Could be wrong. I, I know my rights from left. Anyways. So, yes. Um... So this is a Target exclusive figure, by the way, um, and thankfully I now have a Target in my area because I used to not have one. It's you know the story, guys. I'm from Canada. Canada never had Target. Now it does, and where I live, it I now have a Target, and I was very fortunate to get this figure. So, uh, and obviously, same with uh, all, pretty much um, the Predacons Rising uh, series finale has its own toy line, which pretty much has Skylinks. The the Abominus gift set, as I mentioned in my Blight review in the last video, as well as uh, Dark Steel and a couple other, and same with the Cyberverse 2 packs. Um, so, yeah. Um, probably I'm going to be reviewing Dark Seal, and then that's going to be it. And then I'm pretty much going to, in the in the near future or in the future, sometime down the line, I'm probably going to review the remaining Prime figures if I can get hold of them. Anyways, uh, transformation for this guy is well exactly the same as Sky Stalker, so I will not be going in depth into the transformation, so to speak. But you kind of get the idea of the transformation, what's going to happen. Uh, if you want to get a better look at the transformation from a uh, if you if you're curious to wonder how the step-by-step -step process then by all means go take a look at my sky soccer review because I reviewed him like recently um, and yeah um, the only problem I have with this figure is that the feet joints on mine are very loose and that tends for him to fall over a bit so to speak so that's uh that's pretty, uh, you know, annoying. The one annoying thing I wanted fixed on this figure, or would have, that I was very glad that they fixed, was the fact that when you, for the claws, when you rotate them in, they fall off, like they pop out their ball joints a lot. They managed to fix that uh, pretty easily, so I credit uh, Hasbro for uh, doing such a, uh, a lovely job with, uh, with uh, their uh, efforts there, so there we go. 
So just get uh, that all situated uh, like that. And do do do. Hold up the head. Um, like that. Get the wings situated. Hold the tail up, etc., etc. You can get the drill. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and then get the. Um, and obviously, I, you saw I took the accessories off. It, it doesn't matter how you do it. I just, you know, tend to do it. So, like that. So, uh, yeah, just give me one moment. I'm going to put the tail, uh, well, the tip of the tail back on the, um, on, uh, on the Skylinks here. I was about to call him Sky Soccer, but it's not a real name. You can, you can get the two mixed up here. Get that situated like that. Get him stand it up. And obviously his knee joints are a little bit loose. I'm probably going to have to use some floor polish or maybe some super glue or or a nail polish or some type of uh, adhesive to pretty much tighten the joints so that way they he stands up perfectly well. So yeah, he's incredibly yeah. I'm just going to stand him against the, the wall here, guys. Like that, and there we have Skylinks in robot mode. Pretty cool, and again, pretty awesome. Articulation is the same as Sky Soccer with the head and individual posability. Same with the arms, go forward, back, waist, obviously, which I was kind of surprised about. And as I mentioned in my Sky Soccer review, and his obviously the chicken leg effect and the feet. So there you go. Taking a look at his head here, once I get him uh, standing up here correctly. Um, if I can get him... Yeah, pretty much I'm going to stand him against the wall here, guys. Sorry, I just... He's one of those figures that tends to be a bit of a pain when you're trying to get him to stand. So, yeah, alright. Taking a look at his head now. His head is exactly the same as Sky Stalker, just a little, uh, just, I believe it's a little bit, the paint's a little bit different on the head, for, for, forehead crest, and the mouth area, or the jaw area. His, um, again, he can fire the weapons, like this, just showing you again, like that, so, that's pretty cool, I mean, it's, a um, pretty, pretty interesting gimmick, and then the tip of the tail you're supposed to put right onto his um, I believe you're supposed to put it right onto his arm or wherever it kind of like to act as a weapon of some kind so um, there you go that's pretty much the logistics of the accessories right there so yes or so yeah rather get him to stand up here there we go Overall, will I recommend getting Sky Stock or Skylink? Sorry, Ugh, I get too mixed up all the time now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say yes. Great figure. Um, the again, the colors are not accurate to his appearance in Predacons Rising in the series finale. But overall, I mean, if you hate the color scheme, wait for the Takar uh, the Takar version of it to come out. Um, if you like this figure, by all means, go pick it up. And like I said, it's a Target exclusive, so you'll probably have to go to your nearest Target to find this uh, figure as well as the other uh, Target exclusive uh, figures. So, yeah, that is my video review of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Deluxe Class Sky, uh, Skylinks. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible in the next video. And yes, yeah, so take care. See you soon. Have a great day and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.